Okay, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Wednesday morning, and we're doing the, we're going to do the Million Dollar Street. It's 25 minutes after seven right now. Uh, Francisco is supposed to be here about 7:30, and yeah, uh, that's what that's that's what we're rolling with today. So, uh, yeah, man. We've had a good we've had a good week thus far. Uh, no complaints, and. Uh, you know, everybody's paid and nobody's gotten hurt and all that good stuff. So, we got, well, we're still clawing and scratching at the schedule. We, uh, um, and we're right on pace with where I was thinking. Especially after yesterday when I uh, dropped all that stuff off. You know, I made two runs after we got off work. I made a, I dropped the, I dropped the dirt over at the three pallet saw job we're going to be doing to, uh, Friday. And I, uh, and I dropped the mulch over at, uh, the, uh, it's, it's only five yards of mulch. So, uh, over at, uh, the mulch job that my thinking at first was okay. I, I will do the side job on Friday and I'll just take the bobcat over to the side job on Friday But I think the more I think about it I think it'd be best for me to go on and take the bobcat over to the side job on Thursday tomorrow and go on and get everything ready Because after when I dropped the dirt off over there the owner told me they're supposed to drop the sod off on Thursday afternoon so I was thinking okay, we go over there Thursday morning I mean we go over there Friday morning and start and I would do all the grading and and uh, stuff with the bobcat, you know, uh, while we're waiting on the sod, but that's not how it's going to go down now that I found out when I dropped the dirt off that the saw is going to be delivered on Thursday evening or Thursday afternoon. So now Friday morning, we need to be able to hit the ground running. So I've had to change things up just a little bit. So yeah, but I want to get an early start today because, well, it's hot and we got to cut the back 40 on both of the big properties over there. Um, so we're cutting, shoot, uh, we'll probably be close by the time it's all said and done today. We'll probably be uh, close to actually cutting, uh, actual mowing, probably 14 or 15 acres. So uh, I want to get an early start, man. Cause that's the only way you can really uh get 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 it y'all everybody's been doing good man and and you know like i said uh and everybody's been making good money too so uh yeah i'm just trying to support the team y'all support the team i said yeah y'all but there's francisco i kick back okay y'all so we're on the third one it's 9 45 man and that's pretty good man i mean that's probably the best time ever but a lot of things are attributed to that. Uh, well, number one, we got three mowers going all the time. The trick to doing the big stuff to me, and everybody does it different, is a mower needs to be running all, the, as many mowers as you got need to be running the whole time you're here. I don't care who's on it, it doesn't matter. Uh, just as long as they're running and moving, uh, we're cutting, you know, uh, a lot of acreage, so. I got Zach and Jess on the uh, on the back 40 here, and they're following each other. And the way I do that, and I'm gonna take y'all out there to show y'all the way I do that. There's two ways you can do it. you can do it. So uh, you can either offset each other and go kind of slow, or you can follow each other and go fast. Either way doesn't matter to me on certain areas. So you know as long as it's not real bumpy or nothing. And I know this property really good. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna get, I got the GoPro with me. I'm gonna get on the GoPro and uh, uh, get on the mower and, and go over here and show you guys what's up, all right? <laughs>
Just cut that side piece. Watch out. Turn the blades off. Cut that side piece. Pick it up. You're going to, what are you on now? Damn. You're probably going to be on about three and a three quarter or something. Yeah. Alright, we're going to cut that there, alright? Yeah, but you know, yeah, I'm gonna have her finish this. That's a wrap on the day, man. Uh, Y'all get this, man. We broke a record over there. We did all those properties, those four properties. That's why I don't get too tied up into how many properties I do. We did four properties, and it's thirteen hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, y'all. So we did the million dollar street. We cut the back forty on both of them, and. Uh, on, well on two of them and um, we, we beat the time that we've ever we've never made that good a time before but we went over there I went over there with a plan and you know it's my job to put us in a scenario to make the most money in the minimal time that's our job that's my job no matter what the guys that work uh, for me think or, or whatever it doesn't really matter uh, because I got the I got the best interest of them, even though they might not know that, and the business at heart all the time. I'm never gonna, you know, tell them to do stuff and uh, come to a job with a plan and it not and it not be in the best interest of the business, which is the best interest of them, considering I don't pay by the hour. So uh, usually, just to break it down for y'all real quick, usually we're over there. Uh, am not cutting the back 40 on none of them we're over there till about 2 30 and when we cut the back 40 uh we're over there till about uh, probably 3 or 3 30 you know usually around 2 if we don't 3 or 3 30 if we do cut the back 40. of course cutting the back 40 is more money so uh me and francisco got over there a little bit early a couple things could contributed to uh, us being able to cut it so fast those four properties so fast number one is well a mower's going to be running the whole time we got three people we got three people and then me and we got uh, three lawn mowers three top notch lawn mowers so uh, the, my, I told everybody when they got there a mower all three mowers need to be running the whole time we're here. I don't care nothing about who's weed eating, who's blowing, who's what. I don't get none of that matters. Y'all figure all that out. All I care about is three mowers running, and the new girl Jess needed to be on a mower because obviously, if she is uh, weed eating, it would take a lot longer. So I didn't put her on a weed eater all day. I wanted her to mow because the mower is going to make her as efficient as she could possibly be. It, the mower will pretty much make her one of one of us that's been out here for a while. So uh, that was that was the whole plan when I went to bed last night. You know, I, I contemplated bringing four mowers out, but I didn't think it was necessary, and it wasn't. I don't think we would have made any better time with four mowers than we did with three. So, uh, with four mowers, with, with three mowers, we 
uh, got that job done and we were done at one o'clock actually before one all four of them thirteen hundred eighty dollars uh, yeah uh, me and Francisco got there about eight Zach and Jess got there about 8 30 and the rest is history y'all so uh, we worked and then we didn't stop we ain't playing no games all the mowers are down full of fuel uh, everything is running good uh, there, there was nothing in our way to stop us from getting to, getting that top dollar so uh, everybody made really good money today and am I surprised no uh, I'm not surprised at all because well number one the guys and gals that I have out here working they work really good you know everybody does and sometimes there are some issues with the timing of stuff they don't understand all that but see I do and it's my job to make sure that we are on the best time scenario we can be that's my job y'all is to make sure that we are making good time and whatever strategy we need to use to do that is what I'm gonna do rather Zach's on a mower for 20 minutes and then Francisco gets on him while Zach we eats this piece and and, and, and or Francisco's on a mower while Zach we eats that piece or or vice versa uh, the only constant was me being on a mower and managing everything and pushing everybody a little bit and just being on a mower that was the only constant that I knew when we went in there uh, I did weed eat the first property so I got my weed eating done with, you know hell by 8 15 I was done I was done with all the weed eating I was gonna do Zach and Francisco we did the other three properties but uh, having a plan and of course your machines have got to run good and you can't have no breakdown and you can't have a lot of you know stuff go on that we made the time that we made over there I and mean, it really surprised me and it surprised everybody working out there too uh, how quick we got done today because that was all that was on the list so uh, that don't happen by accident y'all that happens because you go to a job or a set of jobs with a plan in place and you stick by that plan no matter what the employee might think or the homeowner might think or whatever you stick to that plan three mowers need to be running the whole time we're cutting 20 acres I don't give a damn about nothing else if I look up and I don't see three mowers running and only two's running and one guy's standing around and the other guy is weed eating and a mower is sitting idle not running then the guy that's standing around is going to be on that mower every time that's the way it's got to be because again three mowers need to be running the whole time and that was the plan and that's pretty much what made it to where we made the best time ever a couple other things contributed to that too uh, number one everybody worked consistent uh, number three uh, we had uh, the spray we've been spraying over there I've been you know spraying over there for the last two or three trips so that that was a that, that was a that was part of it and another thing too is Francisco is more familiar with the property so the extra 10 minutes I spent over there last time spraying might have saved us 40 minutes today but the biggest thing is three mowers running the whole time we're there and the, and everybody's swapping off except for Jess everybody's you know Francisco and Zach swapping off you know uh, doing this or that but yeah so anyway y'all that's enough about today and strategy and all that uh, I'm, I'm $1,380 500 in expenses y'all I can live with that man alright y'all so y'all know that we got done pretty early today uh, I went on and ate my Sammy and by the, the the fact that we got done so early today and we made the same money it enables me to be able to go back out like I'm like right now I'm fixing to go over here to that treehouse site and we're gonna go on and uh, 
gets get started over there. Plus, I want to. Uh, well, there's a lot of things you got to think about when you're moving equipment around and stuff. So, real quick. So I, we know y'all know we got the sod job on Friday. It's only three pallets, but we gotta head a bobcat over there to get the ground right, rip some roots up, and to move the pallets aside. Okay, and so I need the power rake over there. I'm also gonna need the power rake at this other job that I'm going to right now, but I don't need it today. And since I can't haul the power rake, a bucket, and uh, the brush cutter at the same time then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on over there to this job. So I don't need the brush cutter on the side job, obviously. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on over here to uh, the tree house, I'm gonna call it the tree house job, and go on and uh, uh, get started over there, uh, tuck the brush cutter back in the woods somewhere, and ha so it'll be there when, uh, when I go back over there over the weekend. Uh, tomorrow, uh, it's gonna be, uh, me and Francisco getting ready, uh, doing this, doing uh, the grading and all, clean up, whatever you want to call it, for the sod over there at that little sod job that we're going to be doing. We're also going to be doing some stuff for the neighbor with the Bobcat too. So uh, anyway, I don't. Anyway, that's basically the main reason why I'm going over to this job today is so I can go on and drop the brush cutter over there. So when I go over there to do the work this weekend, I can just bring the power rake and I'm gold. Uh, and the brush cutter already be over there. So, yeah. And I'm gonna go on and get. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to go on and get 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 it, y'all. You know. So. Yeah, it's it's three it's three forty five right now. So. All right, y'all. Y'all see what it is over here at this job uh but y'all see what i'm saying if i if i if i pull the, the i can't pull the bobcat straight up on there like this because well then the rear of the bobcat will be all the way at the gate and you can't ride like that so once i drop the uh brush cutter here then what i'll do is when i leave here i'll go get fuel i'll fill the bobcat up so yeah uh but uh that's where we're at y'all so okay y'all so i'm over here uh here's the tree house i'm gonna be taking down this, this is just let me get off okay and this right here is just part of the job uh we're gonna rip all that down uh and we also we're gonna put it in that dumpster i'm probably gonna open up the doors of the dumpster uh so i can pack everything in there uh yeah i like to build a well i might not open them up today but we're really kind of i need to build a drive up in the dumpster so uh, it's gonna be hard to drive up in the dumpster with that big lip right there and that dumpster like it's seen better days for sure so uh to go for today though is kind of drag this ground uh get some of the trash up uh there's a lot of just trash man uh
man. A little dusty, but you know, y'all see what I got done, man. Bobby ain't no joke, man. Uh, I'm going to have to get the guys over here to pick up all the little stuff. There's a lot of little trash. We've got to pick up all the trash. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to spend a few minutes right here in this bed right here. Uh, I'm going to rip out some trees and stuff in this bed. Uh, now that everybody's gone. main thing I want to do today was, was kind of just get, a, get some tracks on the ground over here. And, you know, kind of just get started over here. I knew I wasn't going to be doing a lot. Uh, but all that debris that you see uh, all right here in front of the dumpster, I'm going to get the guys just to, uh, well, they had to come over here one day and just uh, spend some time over here. Uh, I planned on coming over here on Sunday, but uh, with Francisco, but I don't know that he can work on Sunday. Uh, yeah. see man Bob, Bobby ain't no joke man Bobby don't play no freaking games man Bobby's about out of fuel so I need to be I need to put fuel in Bobby yeah Bobby killing it man y'all saw what Bobby did over there Got that tree house out like it wasn't net 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 not netting. But I gotta put fuel in him. Uh it's seven o'clock, y'all. For all the folks that say Ray don't work. Look how dirty I am, man. See the more money I make, the more I wanna make. You know? Us making that good money today is great. But it ain't good if we don't if, if if we don't make good money tomorrow and the next day. You know. It's only good money if you can keep it going. Or extra money if you can keep it going. It ain't extra if if tomorrow we don't do nothing. See what I'm saying? Oh, car running up on me like that. You don't know how sketchy this shit really is, dog. <laughs> Easy, easy. This shit's sketchy back there. You better watch out. <laughs> Everything's so dusty. We need rain bad, man. Uh, but I gotta put fuel in in the machine, man. So while I, before I put the power rake, I put the power rake on the trailer. When I get home, I'm not gonna be able to stop and get fuel in the morning and it's all it's it's getting low on fuel i don't like letting it get real low on fuel it starts picking up a lot of trash in the bottom of the fuel tank so 